Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for November 2024. Um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Those intuitively guided, thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Really, you're paying attention to your spirit guides because um, I do read through my spirit guides who then connect to yours. Um, by the way, that's why I feel a reading can resonate with so many because I feel like we are just one big soul family. Um, and I allow myself just to be an open vessel for your spirit guides and mine um, of the light, of course. Um, you may be in love with the Taurus, romantically, platonic, uh, platonically, same thing. You'll receive messages if that's the case. Um, now, for November, I'm doing um, opposites again. So, your opposites, Scorpio. I already did Scorpio. I'm going to be putting that out right after this video. And then I'm going to release your video. And the reason why I'm doing opposites is because... Listen, this is the third month that I'm doing it, and I get, like, why I was intuitively guided in the beginning. It's because you are opposites, and um, you can learn so much from each other. You know, like, Pisces is my opposite, and uh, I definitely know I can learn from Pisces, and vice versa. Um, so, that's why I'm doing opposite readings. Uh, we are also bringing back the major arcanas, and we're using these as like a bullet point in your reading. Um, you know, we'll take like three or four what wants to come out, but I like to try to keep it around that. Of course, we're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom, but I am going to use, um, or, or let's say I'm going to take it at the end of the reading for November. Um, I did bring out the Romance Angels, just in case they're needed. Um, Scorpio, they were definitely needed. And, you know, I don't want to give anything away because some of you, again, you know, whether you're connected to a Scorpio, whether you have Scorpio in your chart, or you're just learning something from Scorpio, um, you know, I don't often recommend, like, try to recommend you watch different readings. I want to leave that up to you and your intuition, but there's something. So I will tell you if uh, you have synchronicities with the Scorpio reading, we are going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. Um, and by the way, that's why my readings are long. I know not. I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I'm okay with that. Um, but, you know, what I like to do is really dig deep and not just show you where you've been and where you're at, you know, but the potential of where you can go. And I always say potential, not prediction, because there's free will and it is going to be your free will. You know, another way of saying that is it really depends on the seeds that you're planting right now that's going to determine your harvest. So think about that. You know what I mean? Like, what am I thinking about? Um, you know, if I'm in a negative headspace, then eh, sometimes then it's like that whole day is just negative. But if I can plant some positive seeds um, without putting a whole lot of expectations on them, I feel like you'll always be surprised in a good way. Um, so anyways, I'm not sure why I was talking about that. Oh, because of the length of the video. And for the main spread, we're going to use the Light Seers. And by the way, I'm using the exact same decks that I use for Scorpio. So every every group, let's just say, of two will have their own cards. Um, and so, except for like these three right here. Okay. Let me just calm my mind. Bring the lid down. That looks good. And let's go ahead and start with the major arcanas. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a shuffle or two. Um, and just so you know, everything is always pre-shuffled. 
but I do like to shuffle with you here also. All right, let's give them a cut. And the reason why I cut my my cards, by the way, you know, to each their own. Every like I feel like each reader um, should do it the way they feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Uh, but the reason why I cut them is to really let my guides know that I'm ready. I am open. Um, and I'll cut all the decks, you know, and when, and when I add a new deck, it's really to introduce it into the reading. So let's go ahead and begin Taurus. I'm going to use the major arcanas. This is for November. By the way, I am doing a little early because I am taking a break. Uh, the second part of October. And I didn't want you to have to wait. So, the Empress. Beautiful. Creative. You know, Taurus, I could totally see you in the Empress's energy. Um, you know, this is someone who has really learned through her life experiences. And probably many of them difficult. You know, I often feel the Empress or the Emperor has walked the path of all the queens and kings and has extracted the wisdom of those experiences. And now that's what I use, my wisdom. Um, she's also very intuitive. This is someone who's receiving epiphanies all the time. You know, and every time I say that, I think, well, we're all receiving epiphanies and signs and ideas. But the Empress is someone who definitely give birth to them. Look at her harvest. She's got like... She's plentiful there. So, anyways, creative, loving, nurturing, powerful, wise, all of the above. The mother figure. We have the strength card. It's about overcoming something. Um, it's really, it's really looking within. I feel like the strength card is, um, it's not like what's happening outside of myself. It's really what's happening within myself. And the strength card can signify there's something that you have overcome. You know, I feel like the strength card, when we're willing to like go deep within ourselves, then it becomes a sense of power and courage. You know, I feel like it's courageous to really look within oneself, to know oneself. That's really the ultimate goal, like know, to know myself, to know how I am in all different kinds of areas. Um, I'm noticing her goggles are in, are in the, the symbol uh, or in the, what am I trying to say? Had the in the infinity symbol. Oh, took me a while to say that. Uh, also, Cardalia, by the way, but I don't really read them as people. It's more the energy. And then the magician. Well, hello. The manifester. You know, the fool's greatest mentor. The one who teaches the fool. And when I say the fool, we're all the fool. So if like any, if anything new is opening up, taking on that fool's energy, that means putting the past in the past, much like the Empress extracting the wisdom of my experiences, but I'm not going to bring the, you know, if there was pain or pressure, I don't know why I'm saying pressure, um, but if there was any, you know, energy that was difficult, this is really overcoming that. So I love that you have the magician following the strength card. So I feel like you're very clear about something. You're very clear about like what it is you want to manifest in your life. Um, and that's what the magician teaches the fool. Like you possess everything you need to be successful on this next journey. Magician's looking back like back at the strength card and back at the empress. Interesting. Let's just do one more shuffle, see if anything else wants to come out. 
you know, the magician's got all his tools on the table. Everything he needs. We have justice. Justice. Well, first of all, justice could certainly talk about some karmic situations you've been in. And the strength card would mean that you have overcome them. You know, like, let's say you had a karmic lesson. Karmic lesson just mean you know, listen, we all are going to have karma to pay off. We have to think about, like, um, when I think of karma, I think about, like, you know, how do I treat people? Um, am I someone who's helping others? Uh, you know, and it doesn't even mean you have to help others, but, you know, um, it, well, it can mean so many different things, but here's the thing. I feel like once karma is paid off, it's paid off for eternity. So, now, this can represent kind of ties with something or someone. Can represent the law, of course. But justice is really about making you whole again. So, I feel like in the strength card, maybe you weren't feeling so whole. But now it feels like you're moving into that area. So just cutting ties to what's not serving you, you know, taking a look around, like what's holding me back? Who's holding me back? And why? You know, again, justice is about making you whole again. It's also about balance. You know, finding balance within your life. All right, let's set those aside. I'm actually going to slide them over a little bit. Excuse my nails. I didn't realize they were like chipped all over the place. All right. Um, by the way, Justice is also a card of Libra. She does have her sword up. So, you know, it does kind of feel like she's using that sword. And by the way, Justice is mirroring the Empress. So, there could be something new that the Empress wants to bring to the world. But there could be something old that just didn't fit with these new plans. Hmm. All right. Let's bring in the light seers and um, let's get some more detail. So this will be your main spread with the light seers. Let's do another shuffle. I didn't like the way that shuffled. Here we go. Let's give him a cut. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to take these. Well, there's quite a few here. Let's go ahead and take them now. Well, hello, Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is about um, something that's coming into your physical world. You know, this is not about emotion. This is about something literally coming into your life. You know what I love about this image is you can see the roots of this pentacle. I often call it a seed because it's really going to be up to us what we do with this seed. I love that it's coming under the Empress, by the way. You know, creative, loving, nurturing, powerful, strong. She is someone who, again, is receiving epiphanies. And it feels like now it's time to bring them out. So let's see. Hmm, the tower. Tower's coming under the strength card. We have the eight of cups, the walking away. <clears throat> That's probably what the sword of justice is doing. Cutting ties with something or someone. You know, the eight of cups, it's emotional. It's cups. Um, and, you know, it reminds me of the strength card because this is where I have taken that time 
I have looked within my emotional house. You know, clearly there was some type of a tower, whether you gave it or whether you received it. It feels like whatever the, whatever the case, it's moving you to calmer waters, let's say. You know, it's really moving you to the Nine of Cups, which is inner harmony. So, even though there's a tower here, I feel like this tower has been, I feel like it's already been overcome. But, let's keep going. Well, hello, Fool. No wonder I was talking about the Fool. A new beginning. And that makes so much sense with the Eight of Cups there. Right? This emotional clarity. And then the moving on from it. You know, the tower speaks about disruption. Um, certainly can be endings. But I have a feeling, it, it almost feels universal. Because I feel like this pinnacle that's coming in. And it's your very first card. And, you know, let's talk about the Ace of Pentacles for one second. This is something that um, is it's meant to enhance your life. And I feel like these Pentacles are like our soul seeds of intention. And one of your seeds is coming to fruition. And who better to handle it than the Empress? And I love the Magician right there with the Foal. Again, the Foal's greatest mentor. Or the first mentor along the road, let's just say. So, a new beginning. But this is also about taking a leap of faith. After the fact. After the Eight of Cups. So, I feel like you're no longer allowing something to emotionally affect you. You know, it's almost like enough is enough is enough. So, it's a new beginning, but I love that the Ace of Pentacles is giving you the way. So, again, this is something that could truly enhance my life. But I want you to think of this Pentacle as, again, like a seed. And it's going to be up to me how, you know, how successful this seed can be. You know, am I going to love it? Am I going to nurture it? Think of your garden. You plant a seed. You don't just walk away and forget about it. Well, usually... Right. And if you do, chances are that seed won't survive. Um, so instead, I want to water it. Right. I want to nurture it. I want to make sure it's getting the sun that it needs. Um, and then and then I want to watch it blossom. And that's exactly what this fool I feel like is doing. Like taking this this pinnacle. And probably beginning, well, I feel like a new life. We at least know it's within your emotional house at this point. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, that fine art of give and take. You know, a lot of times the Six of Pentacles can represent unbalanced energy. You know, it's learning, um, you know, am I a giver or am I a taker? Um, do I give and give and give, but don't receive back? Um, this is a very compassionate energy though, you know, so if you're giving of your time, your energy, it's because you feel it, you know, it is your compassion, it's your empathy, but sometimes we got to know, you know, we got to know. Who we're giving it to. Are we receiving back? And you know. Interesting I was talking about karma. Because this feels like. This line feels like good karma. Mm. Alright. Let's keep going. We have the hangman. Interesting because the hangman it was like almost wanted to come reverse, which would have which would have meant an awakening. So I feel like someone is like right there, right there. You know, the hangman seeking wisdom um, for my next steps. 
I'm, se I'm really seeking spiritual wisdom, but for this physical plane, and again, that Ace of Pentacles, it is coming into the physical world. Um, you know, the Empress also represents patience. So, you know, knowing the perfect time or feeling, I should say, the perfect time to bring something about. The perfect time to allow this new beginning. Hmm. We do have the devil now. But this devil did come in reverse. So. Um, certainly can represent a Capricorn. But I have to tell you. With the strength card here. And the eight of cups here. Um, the devil really talks about temptations. And you could have just been, like, tempted back to something over and over again, whether it be, you know, a person, a situation, um, a substance, whatever it may be, it, you know. And the strength card is really the ability to overcome that. You know, I almost feel like there is something that I've been tempted to for, I don't know, I, I want to say a big chunk of my life, but I don't know if it's been like your whole life. But I do feel like this energy of like being tempted back. Like I keep getting tempted back. And that's where justice to me feels so important. Because I'm, I'm, I'm severing those ties. And that moves you into that eight of cups. Which again, she's moving towards the nine of cups. I know she's moving towards the nine of cups because the fool is next. So the fool's like, I'm going to allow myself to have this new beginning. I'm going to take a leap of faith. You know, if not on someone, I'm taking a leap of faith within myself. You know, it feels like I feel clean. I feel sober. I feel excited. Um, you know, I'm ready for what's new in my life. And I don't mind the hangman being next to the devil in reverse. Because this may talk about like I, I did put something on hold. Or something was put on hold. Um, because maybe I had to notice that I myself was in like some type of repeat pattern. I myself kept getting tempted back to something or someone. But I do feel like, you know, whatever that is, I do feel like you cut those ties. I feel like you're no longer tempted towards it. Um, and if it's a person, they certainly could have been very charming and what have you. But I feel like even that wore off. You know what I mean? Like their charm wore off. So I'm no longer tempted to that energy. And then we have the nine of pentacles. Beautiful. Nine of pentacles. Wow. First of all, that can be successful self-employment. Here is this ace to help give you the way. Even if I'm just beginning, right, with the full taking this ace, I'm going to take a leap of faith on myself. And... I'm going to create something that I can call my own. The Nine of Pentacles is a very independent type energy. And right before with the tower and then the devil in reverse, you may have again felt like unbalanced. But now I feel like you're feeling balanced or you will be. You know, you, you have to allow it at the same time. You have to know like again what Let's just say that this is you with the Ace of Pentacles creating some type of dream that you've had. You know, um, the Nine of Pentacles talks about successful self-employment. And in the Nine of Pentacles, the person who benefits from the hard work is you. It's yours. You know, and, and that Empress where I said she looks so bountiful... Well, that's what the Nine of Pentacles is. It's it's really starting to see the fruits of your labor. Um, to me, it also means that I feel pretty strong in my own two feet.
we have the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands, they call it the marriage card. It's mirroring the hangman over here. Some of you, I just feel like this is saying that you may have been, like you may have been in a repeat pattern with someone. Um, to the point where, you know, the Ten of Swords, like, is that, or the Ten of Wands is that energy of, like, where it's almost too much. But I love this image because this is someone who, listen, like, I climbed this mountain that's behind her, right? I climbed the mountain. I did what I could do on that mountain. I tried to be, you know, all that I could be in that mountain, but something just didn't work out. You know, for some of you, it can talk about, like, in work and in love, where maybe you tend you tended to put, you know, all the responsibilities on your shoulders. But this is someone who's leaving that mountaintop. And what I love is she's only taking what she needs, right? What I can carry. I know this energy. Um, because she knows that she'll recoup whatever she feels like she lost. You know, it's almost like not worth fighting over it. And she is heading to a new mountaintop. And she's already climbed down the mountain. So she's definitely on her way. Some of you, you could have been waiting for someone to make like a true commitment. And, um, you know, maybe it just never really came around. I could definitely see the energy of, you know, some of you could certainly represent a marriage, though I never want to, you know, I don't like to say like, oh, you should end a marriage. I feel like you would already know what energy this is for you. Like you already know what, you know, where you need to use that sword of justice. And for some of you, I feel like it's just simply saying that, you know, it, it feels to me like someone charmed you, um, made you believe something that just didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. Well, this is also telling you, though, this is not the end. Uh, maybe it's an end with a certain person or an end with a certain situation, but it's just the beginning of whatever this Ace of Pentacles is going to be. And again, you're the one who has control over that. But I do feel like it's also your guides helping you, like like showing you the way, um, you know, like let's say, like I really want to create a business for myself. I feel like things will be put in front of you, like, you know, like you're online and something comes before you and it piques your interest. And you decide to follow that and it just keeps, you know, you keep getting more interested in it. And next thing you know, for some of you, it could be, it could be, it could end up being what you do for a living. I know one thing, even though there's some difficult energy here, there's also some beautiful energy here. Um, and it feels like I am closing the door to what was and I'm opening the door to all that can be, you know, again, the fool it is not carrying the energy of the past with them. I'm going to allow myself to have this new beginning. I'm going to allow myself to take a leap of faith. And yes, that may require some, you know, cutting of ties, some energy that has not been easy. But I feel like what it's really saying is you now realize that. I kind of feel like some of you gave someone a tower. And it could be someone who just couldn't commit. But that doesn't mean that you won't have commitment in the future. Because again, you're leaving one mountaintop, heading to the next. Eight of Cups. 
emotional clarity, heading towards inner harmony. Perfect energy for the foal to take on. The hangman, for some of you, it almost feels like it's saving you. You know, it's like saving you from, let's just say, investing any more time in something that just isn't working in your favor. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, hello, Ace of Swords. So to me, the Ace of Swords, triumph, truth, can be communication. She definitely looks like she's connecting to above. Perfect energy for the Empress. So it's like I'm receiving ideas, epiphanies. And the Empress is like, well, I'm going to use those ideas and epiphanies. And I'm going to create something with that. And lo and behold, the Ace of Pentacles shows up. And don't forget, this Ace has roots on it. That means it's something that can be really, you know, like rooted. Um, something that can really last. But again, it's up to me if I'm going to nurture that seed. With the Empress right above it, I, I have no doubt that you will. I guess it depends where you're at in the reading. Um, but I feel like once you reach the Empress's energy, I have no doubt. I want to slide these over just a little. So, someone's charm is no longer working. Someone's empty promises, you've had enough. You know, someone's hand that's been out. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You're no longer giving. And I feel like that was the lesson in itself. Kind of wands, I've had enough. I've had enough. I've waited long enough. I'm leaving this mountaintop. I'm going to go find my mountaintop. And I feel like in the Four of Wands, which really is my favorite love card, um, because it is about true commitment. But and, and I feel like it probably will be true commitment. But I feel like first, the past is saying there's someone who just didn't give you that commitment that they probably promised. And it can be love, but it can also be like in work. You know, like, I could see this in work where it's like everything is laid upon my shoulders, but who's getting paid? Like, am I getting paid enough? So you decide, that's it. I quit. Take this job and shove it. I'm heading to my own mountaintop. I'm creating my own business. And I feel like success? Yes. That's what the Nine of Pentacles is. It is success. It's independent success, whether you're working for someone else or you decide to do something on your own. It's just telling you if you're willing to put the work in. And by the way, with the Empress here, it feels creative. And the Magician here, the ability to manifest. Well, here is that Ace. Two Aces. Let's see who's under with this one. It's Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. The Ten of Pentacles under the Ace of Swords kind of makes sense because we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So maybe what you're heading towards, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles can talk about singular energy. Some of you are, because, you know, like you're cutting ties and you're claiming like single status. But I don't feel like that's going to be the case forever because I feel like this Ace will eventually turn into the Ten of Pentacles. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. Let's go deeper. All right, let's give him a cut. And we are going to start at the beginning. Just let me grab a drink real quick.
We're going to start at the beginning, but of course we're going to read it as a whole. Hello, lovers. Interesting. The lovers. Um, you know, it's interesting because a lot of times, oh, sorry, my chair keeps making that noise. <laughs> you know, a lot of times in a really good love reading you'll see the empress um often you'll see the emperor also but the lover showing up here first of all it is the card of gemini the meaning of the card is the head of a heart decision but i just love this image because it's showing the feminine energy right and we see the feminine energy it doesn't matter if you're mask if you're a male or female right because we we carry like we carry both but you can see the feminine energy and it's like she's feeling the energy of this masculine but this masculine's not in person yet i can feel them to me the lovers really is chemistry and because it's touching the empress and coming over the ace of pentacles i have no doubt for some of you this is love You know, I'm saying love, love amongst other things, because I feel like I feel like you finding like strength within your independence feels really important. And I know that's important to you. So I know that you can find it. And I almost feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm getting like I'm really getting my shit together as it relates to my money and what I want to do in the world, you know, I'm receiving these epiphanies and I'm trusting them and I'm bringing them to life. So there no way do I feel like this is just talking about love because I feel like first is talking about you and how you get to this energy. So again, someone who used to be charming, can no longer charm you. Something that used to tempt you is no longer tempting you. You know, yes, I had to leave a mountaintop and that's not easy, but I know, especially with the magician right under it and the fool, I know that whatever is next is gonna be good for me. You're just feeling it. I feel it. I feel it. And remember how I said, in this four of wands, which really is about commitment, true commitment. Maybe someone else couldn't give it to you, but that doesn't mean that you won't have it. Because again, the foal is on a brand new journey. And it could be, you know, in your money and also in your love life. So let's keep going. I could see the Empress saying, I don't know yet. I'm not sure yet. You know, I'm doing, I'm doing my own thing. And, um, I have a lot on my plate. You know, I have a lot of ideas, a lot of things I want to bring to the world that I want to create. But yet again, she's feeling the energy of the masculine. And maybe right now that's good enough. Like, I'm just going to allow myself to feel it. All right, well, let's keep going. There's that Ace of Swords. Queen of Wands. Um, can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this really is, you know, to me, this is the Queen of Action. This is someone who moves according to her desires, her passions. She's not a fear-based energy. Um, I definitely feel that you're clearing up a lot of old energy and you're allowing yourself to have these new beginnings. 
again, it doesn't have to be in all areas of your life, but I do feel like I change one part of my life and the rest follows. I do call her my intuitive queen because she follows these epiphanies that the Empress is receiving. She's someone who's like, okay. And she's coming over the Eight of Cups. And look at this. We have the Eight of Cups again. Right over the Fool. So the Fool's sitting next to the Eight of Cups. And now the Eight of Cups is right over the Fool. It could talk about two people. You know, it could talk about the masculine that we have yet to see. But we are seeing the feminine. Um, it could talk about similar situations. You know, you may meet someone who you can say, um, or through conversation, because we have the Ace of Swords twice, like through conversation, um, we find that we have very similar experiences. And both of you could have just set yourself like free. You, you like, it's, it's like you're on the same path. So if you're on the same path, you're bound to meet. Two of Wands, kind of like the full. This is saying yes. This is the willingness to step upon the, the new path. And, you know, again, the wands, passion, desire. What is it I want to do in the world? How is it I want my life to look? Now, it is mirroring the lovers. So if it is a head over heart decision for you, I feel like, you know, you're following one or the other. I kind of feel like you're following your heart. But let's keep going. Well, there's that nine of cups. There's that inner harmony we've been looking for. You know, interesting is coming over the hangman where that hangman almost felt like, like I'm almost in the awakened state. Like, I'm just about there. And now I feel like this puts you there. You know, the Nine of Cups is also about fulfillment of wishes. And the Ace of Pentacles right above it with the lovers. Hello, Empress again. Now the Empress is coming over the reversal of the Devil. And then the Seven of Wands. You know what it feels like? It's like, you know, maybe someone, again, has tempted me to them with, like, you know, their words. But then there was no action behind their words. You know, someone, again, I feel, I do feel charmed. But I feel like that wears off, right? You can only charm me, charm me for so long. I do feel like there was probably... um not the greatest of communication. And I feel more than anything, it's you just saying either to a person or a situation like, like you don't hold power over me anymore. It's like you're reclaiming your own power. Then we move into the seven of wands. Seven of wands about standing your ground. Um, but it's coming over the Nine of Pentacles. So I could see where now maybe some of you are doing something where you're helping others. You know, Seven of Wands me often feel like I put out a fire, another fire begins. I put out that fire, another fire. You know, it's one after another after an another. But I feel like you've overcome it. And now potentially you're helping others. You know, and I feel like that's really what our soul purpose is about. A lot of people, you know, say, like, what is my soul purpose? It's to live life the best way you know how. It's also where, you know, helping other people in any way doesn't have to mean I do it in a business. Though some of you, I feel like this is great energy for doing something, um, for helping others. And again, the Empress loving, nurturing, creative,
powerful, strong. You know, she's receiving like a fulfillment of a wish. I almost feel like the star card needs to be out here. Interesting, we have two nines, because I do feel like for some of you, it could certainly be energy, like mirrored energy, you know, like, like, you don't know this until you meet this person. You're like, wow, like, yeah, I went through the same thing. Then we have the six of cups. You know, I have to tell you, the first thing I felt when I saw the six of cups because it's coming over that ten of swords. And some of you, it feels like you're moving back home. It feels like you are reconnecting with someone. Uh, you know, maybe your childhood. Um, maybe younger days. I don't feel like it has anything to do with this tower. I feel if anything, the tower is what got you moving into this next chapter. So the Six of Cups really speaks about treasured memories, happy memories, happy times. It can talk about happy times with a person. Doesn't have to mean we are in a love relationship. We could have been great friends, and who knows? Who knows? You know, like, especially with social media these days, I often feel where people are changing their status from, from in a relationship to single. And then maybe someone sees that and then wants to come in next. But I feel like there's nothing to fear with that. Because I feel like the lessons that you've learned from the past are so valuable. <clears throat> because I feel like you're at this stage where I feel like if anybody comes in and tries to pull the wool over your eyes, I don't know how they could do it. I don't think they could do it. I feel like you found emotional clarity. You found this inner harmony. And I do feel like you were seeking it. And you found it. And now it's about fulfilling a wish. You know, remember how I was talking about bad karma in the beginning? It's almost like, well, here comes your good karma. Six of Cups. Someone that I used to know. Now, you know, in the Six of Cups, because I do do past life readings, <clears throat> um, so I do understand that sometimes love, like new love, can be like a love from a past life. You know, like a soulmate. And um, sometimes these special soulmates don't come in until we have learned some difficult lessons. But there's a reason for that. You know, I feel like before we come into this, this lifetime, we're able to plant certain seeds of intention. You know, we can't know exactly how they're going to play out because there's free will. But we are able to plant certain seeds so I wouldn't be surprised if this is talking about soulmates who planted seeds to meet or connect at a certain time within their life. Um, and you don't want to disregard what you've been through because this is what's been teaching your soul. And listen, every lesson you learn, the more soul expansion you have, the more soul expansion you have, the higher your vibration the higher your vibration, the higher of the vibration that comes back to you. Feels like the opposite of where you've been. But I do see some synchronicities here. Look at this. The Emperor. Wow. Like I was saying at the beginning, in a good love reading, what I really look for are the Emperor. Are the Empress and the Emperor. We have the Empress and now we have the Emperor. 
But listen, this emperor is coming right over the Four of Wands. Commitment. You know, I feel like this is telling a little bit of a story of, of like, you know, um, again, someone that I used to know, but probably at a younger age. And now it feels like you're both coming to the table mature. And I don't mean old. I just mean mature. Because both the Empress and the Emperor are someone we can definitely look up to. We can definitely go to advice for um, who definitely cares about their fellow man. Um, they're both compassionate and empathetic. They have a lot of similar type energies, though they take different routes to get to the same place. Yeah, the emperor is someone who's methodical, puts plans in place, um, can certainly be a business owner, someone normally we would look up to. And I say normally, if it was reversed, I would say no. Interesting because it can we also have like the mother and father figure here. And then look what came out with the emperor. So that ten of pentacles. Well, there was that ten of pentacles that I felt was gonna I just felt it was gonna show. And here it is. Well, first of all, we have the nine of pentacles right? Independent. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Add that to the Nine. That makes the Ten of Pentacles. I have to tell you, Taurus, if this is relating, well, I feel like it's relating to a lot of different things, but let's just take love for a second. This feels of a high vibration, where before I feel like I was charmed, you know, like someone was able to charm me, but then I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. But anyways, you take that ace, add it to the nine, you get the ten. And two nines feels like two people in singular energy. Though we do have two eights of cups. So each needing to like really find this emotional clarity. And I don't feel like I'm even looking I just feel like it's going to happen. You know, just like I said, the feminine's energy is in the current, like the cur current moment. And I feel like it's you, male or female. And then the masculine energy, not there in person yet. But it's like I can feel that energy. Well, that would be your emperor. And this could be someone who reaches out through some type of communication. Because again, something made me pick this up and look at that Ten of Pentacles. And as soon as I saw it, I felt it was yours. You know, like it was meant for you. <clears throat> it feels like a different life, to be honest. You know, it feels like you have definitely evolved. But it does feel like some around you have not. And, uh, you know, you probably had to make that hard decision. You know, am I going to keep trying or am I going to move on? I feel like you're moving on. You know, whether you gave the tower or you received the tower, in a way, I feel like the tower is what allows everything else to start to open up. I love the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles, by the way, because I do feel like the Emperor is someone who, you know, doesn't come into your life without a job. This is someone I feel like where they have spent time like in their career and probably are doing very well. Um, you know, there's nothing negative I can say here. And this could, again, be someone that you already know. But we could have been much younger here. And now we're coming to the table as the Emperor and the Empress. And I love that the Ten of Pentacles is with the Emperor. Because you, the, in the Ten of Pentacles, you're not alone. So the Emperor is not alone in this Ten of Pentacles. The Empress is connected to them. 
And this is, again, remember how I said where I felt like maybe one commitment didn't go well, but that was not the end for you? Well, here we go. The two of wands is like, but you do have to step onto this path. And it's interesting because I feel like you step onto the path. Then we move into the nine of cups. So I feel like you're feeling good in that energy. Like inner harmony. That means you're not shutting your heart down. Again, it doesn't mean I'm like in the market looking for love. I feel like, no, you're doing other things. Like you're thinking about your creativity. You're building um, your own business or your own wealth, you know, your own money. And um, lo and behold, you know, as you start moving forward, as you make these necessary changes, you know, I say necessary, but I mean necessary if this is to come about, because I could keep allowing myself to be charmed by someone who just doesn't produce anything. Or I can say enough is enough. You know, for some of you, someone from your past could have reached out, you know, whether it be like, you know, on the phone, through text, on your social media, and it may have like stirred ideas in your head. And again, it may have not even been anything serious at that moment, but it may have made you start thinking about making some changes within your life. Again, I do feel like for, of course, not everyone, but for a few of you, it kind of feels like you're moving back home. So wherever that may be for you, and it doesn't have to be where I grew up, just a place that that I, I do have happy memories about. I mean, hello, Ten of Pentacles, over the marriage card with the Emperor. And by the way, the Emperor and the Empress are in the same line. We have the Empress as our very first card, connected to the lovers, head over heart decision. But again, it's undeniable chemistry. And then the Two of Wands mirroring that makes me feel like you are at least stepping into it. Let's just see. Let's see where it takes us. Because I don't feel like the past has the power over you that it once held. I feel like you cut those ties. Maybe physically, but also emotionally. And that alone is a signal to the universe. Okay. Our Taurus is open. Our Taurus is free. Let's guide them in the way of some of these souls' intention and let's start bringing them to their reality. <clears throat> Very abundant energy over here. Not just abundant, but, you know, with the marriage card, that definitely talks about love. But I feel like this is someone who puts actions behind their words. And I do feel very similar energy again. I just keep picking that up. You know, like through conversation, we may find that I just left someone and they just left someone. Now, it doesn't have to be like I just left someone, but... I'm no longer giving someone of the past my my attention, right? Those who don't deserve it. All right. Um, I think I want to look at the lovers before we move on. Um, the lovers over the Ace of Pentacles, by the way. And again, that Ace of Pentacles has roots. It makes sense with the Ten of Pentacles because I often feel the Ten of Pentacles really does take root. This is something that I feel lasts a lifetime and sometimes even after my life. And that could just be a story. 
you know, if this turns out to be quite a love story, that love story remains even when we're gone. You know, our grandchildren and great-grandchildren speak of our love. You know, it's how they measure love. And what a great, I don't know, I feel like that would be, that would be great. Okay, well, here's the star. So you heard me say, I felt like we needed the star's energy out here. Here it is. Uh, first of all, it is a card of Aquarius. But it is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. But it's not just about a wish. It's about manifesting it. You know, I always notice in this image that this person is naked. And to me, let's say it's talking about love. And I feel like it's talking about a couple different things. You know, the Nine of Cups is fulfillment of wishes. So it definitely signifies more than one wish. Um, so being naked to me feels like I can truly be myself. You know, or if I want to manifest something or someone into my life, I don't want to have to wear any mask. I want to be exactly who I am. We also got the King of Cups, which is kind of nice because right now we're speaking of love. And this is a king that loves love. Um, can represent Cancer, Scorpio, or um, I was going to say Capricorn, um, Pisces. But it doesn't have to. To me, it's just simply saying that this is, you know, what I think about when I see the Queen or the King of Cups, I think of someone who appreciates being in a relationship, appreciates having that special person by their side. You know, I often say it's the energy of like, you know, if I'm out about, I'm out and about doing, my, you know, doing my day and something happens. This is the first person I call. You're the first person on my mind. Mm. Two swords. Interesting. Because the two swords really doesn't fit. Not with the empress or the emperor. But two swords means there's a little bit of a blindfold on. Um, listen, maybe the empress really... You know, wasn't thinking about love. I'm thinking about my creativity and how I want to build up my my life, my finances, my career. Some of you, a business that you own. Maybe you really had no clue that this was coming about. But nonetheless, it is. So let's follow that for a second. Let's see what that blindfold's about. Wow. Okay. We have energy that's split. We have the Six of Wands. Well, that's being victorious. Hello, four of wands. You know, it feels to me like... I feel this twofold. I feel this energy of someone saying, you know, I'm really concentrating on me right now. I'm really concentrating on building up my pentacles. I really, you know, and, and I love that the Six of Wands comes out because this is really where other people are paying attention to what you're doing. You know, they're paying attention to what you have to say, but it's because of action steps that you've taken. And interesting that the, then the Four of Wands comes back out again. It's almost like we can't help this energy. You know, it is what it is. It's going to present itself no matter what. But I simply feel like I didn't expect it. We have the five of wands. I'm sorry, the five of swords. 
But then look at this. We have soulmates. So I had no doubt that this was talking about soulmate energy. I felt it. Um, but here's the thing. I feel like, again, <clears throat> I feel like the Empress, and probably the Emperor, I feel like probably neither one of them are like, like love is what I'm looking for. I feel like both of them are really concentrating on their life. And I feel like the universe or your spiritual team is what's helping to bring the two of you together. Again, because I feel like it is a seed, it's a soul seed of intention. So it's something that our souls planned. But listen, we're born with amnesia, so we don't know that. But I, and you know, I often picture in my mind where I see you as souls and saying to each other, let's 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 come into each other's lifetime this time and um let's see if we can find each other so it can be very unexpected but it is showing me a little bit of why that blindfold is there the five of swords comes out toxicity but this is what i feel like you've already cleared and i simply feel like it's saying that you do not want to repeat that And I get it. I get it. But yet, I feel like that was yesterday. This is about today and your tomorrow. This is a soulmate. And I would expect nothing less when I see the Emperor and the Empress in the same reading. And now we have two fours of wands. You know, I feel like this is going to happen out of the blue. But I feel like your spiritual team, they're guiding you together. They're helping to fulfill a soul's wish. But my human mind may not have caught up yet. Like, I am not worried because I feel like once the emperor and the empress connect... That's that. Then they're going to be together. I, I don't feel like there's any. I just feel like they're going to be together. Because again, the emperor sitting right next to the six of cups. If I know this person, this is someone that, you know, I have good memories about. If I don't know this person, then it means that you did spend a past lifetime together. Probably more than one. And, you know, some people don't believe me when I say that I feel like our souls are able to plant certain seeds. And why wouldn't I plant a soulmate? Why wouldn't I? And I feel, you know, I don't feel like there's a lot of issues here. Once I get past, you know, what was, I don't feel like there's a lot of issues you know, the Two of Swords could have been the Eight of Swords, but it's not. You know, it could be that self-created prison where I put walls up, but you didn't. Now, you do have a little bit of a blindfold on, but I feel like that's human nature, right? I don't want to repeat something that I've just gotten over. I don't feel like the Emperor does either. I feel like this is the perfect time to bring out the romance angels. Let's give them a couple shuffles. And I'm looking at this two of cups, which I already know is a soulmate. But I'm keeping in mind the that it is the emperor and the empress and the lovers. You know, the lovers, I do feel like it's talking about um, really good love, really good chemistry. But it does mean a head over heart decision. And that's where I feel like the, the two of swords is coming in. And I feel like it's just a little bit of, of uncertainty, but I, I don't feel like it's going to last. Or I, I feel like the relationship will last. 
I don't feel like the, you know, like, um, I feel like the blindfold will come off. You know, maybe I just need to give someone a chance, a little bit of time to prove to me who they are. What, the, what are they doing in my life? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt. To me, that's just meaning, that means just allowing yourself to have a little fun, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, heart to heart. And this is where I find that you will find that you have a lot of similar experiences through conversation. You know, forgiving and learning is that two of swords. Flirt, I feel like it's just saying, you know, you don't have to project this too far out in the future if there's any fear. Take it day by day. Enjoy what it is. Enjoy the beginning of a relation, you know, the potential of a relationship. Like, allow that inner child to come out. Someone may have shut that down for a while, but I do feel like you're finding yourself again. I feel like I want to take one more round. Whoa. Okay. One more round produced a lot of cards. Well, wow. finances and career. That's definitely where I feel like your focus is at. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I have to be honest, though. I feel like this is talking more about where your head is at. Like, I am concentrating on my finances. I am concentrating on my career. And maybe I have put love on a back burner. You know. And I do feel like, you know, there's a reason. You may have had it rough for a little while. And it's like, ah. Children. Wow. Six of Cups. Your love life is being affected by children. Past life relationship. Makes sense with soulmate energy. You have known each other before. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And I have to tell you, I feel like both are doing that. Both have done that. And last but not least, express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Flirt. Past life. Releasing your ex. I feel like both have done that. Deep conversations, heart to heart. I feel like that's why we're seeing the Ace of Swords twice. And I, I, you know, I'm not surprised at all that we have a past life connection. Because I felt that way before this even came out. It is those, those seeds of intention. Remember the star is here. <clears throat> and so is the magician. The manifester. And so is justice. Cutting of old ties. Some of you, that is your ex. But listen, this ex, I feel like is someone who, again, could have promised you the world and delivered none. Could have been very charming. You know, I feel like, you know, I do feel like you probably gave it everything you could give it. 
and you just had nothing left to give. And I do feel like through conversation, the emperor and the empress are going to be like, wow. Like, look at the similarities between our life. And don't forget, we have the four of wands here again. Both of you could have been married and then divorced. Um, but again, this is about recouping. Do you know, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of it all. But look at what manifests after that. Your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, and then, and then the magician. The one who can manifest that. That's you. But it's knowing your power. You know, the full. Allowing myself to have this new beginning. And that doesn't mean like I'm 100%. And let's remember, everyone is imperfect. That's just the way we were born. But I feel like this is two souls who their quest before they came into this lifetime is, will we find each other again? I feel like the answer is yes, all day long. All right, let's take Mother Mary over this beautiful reading. I mean, you know, yes, the past was not easy, but you standing here as the emperor or the empress tells me that you've learned the lessons of the past, right? And also, you're not going to allow the past to stop you from manifesting, you know, your wishes, your dreams. It's like you're taking charge again of your life. And so is this person. Both probably had their heart broken. You know, I say that though, we don't have the three of swords. Jesus. I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with this situation. Jesus. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I feel like your prayers are not only being heard, but they're being answered. I do feel the necessity of not trying to project this too far out in the future. And I feel like the main reason why I keep saying that is not that I don't feel like this, this is energy that can last a lifetime. I do. But I feel like to give you comfort. And I often feel like in new relationships, you know, the beginning of a relationship where you're feeling giddy and that inner child comes out, you know, there's laughter, there's flirting. Why would I want to miss that? There's long conversations. That may be a clue. <clears throat> you know, if you meet someone who... um is unwilling to have these long conversations. Now, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have put any doubt there. Compassion. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. And then we have tenderness. Well, I mean, we are explaining the emperor and the empress right here. I am both gentle and powerful, gentle, and powerful. What a win winning combination. So I feel like divine is completely behind this. Um, and you know what I feel like the best thing to do here is, again, just kind of let go of control and take something day by day like the two of wands is the willingness to at least step upon the path. You know, everything is showing that ultimately where this energy has the potential of going is, you know, true fulfillment. And I feel like this is, this is someone who I feel like, yeah. um, you know, if you're concerned, like, I don't want anybody to come in that doesn't have a job. I don't want anybody to come in where I have to take care of them. 
Well, that's the opposite of what you're receiving. It feels like two people who really know who they are now. Two people who are really believing within themselves. Two people who are receiving epiphanies, signs, and they're following them. And two people who are just going to meet along the path. But it feels to me like it was always meant to happen. As humans, we don't know that. As souls, we kind of do. I feel like there'll be instant recognition. And again, some of you may already know who this person is, but I'm not really feeling that it was a love relationship, though I do feel like there was love. You know, but I'm not going to leave that off the table. Um, but past lives, you have known each other before. Well, you are soulmates. And you're helping to fulfill each other. You know, what a beautiful life this can be. I can't guarantee you that it's issue free. But I can tell you that these two people know how to handle it now. I wouldn't even be surprised if these two, I'm saying these two, but you know, I know there's a lot of people watching, um, but I, I could see them collaborating together because they think the same. They act differently but they think the same or or they have the same underlying goal let's say both these people do think about other people in a very compassionate type way you know fulfillment of wishes oh baby you're getting them and you know it is kind of like that energy where maybe I had to kiss a lot of frogs to find my prince, but my prince is what I'm finding. And I feel like the prince is saying, and my princess is what I'm finding. Everything is saying, go ahead, allow yourself to at least step into it. And I feel like the rest will take care of itself. You know, no blindfolds. Again, remember how I said in the star, they're naked? This It means that I want, if, you know, whatever comes into my life, especially in the form of love, I want them to accept me for who I am. And I feel like they will. I feel like you are ending up in that Ten of Pentacles with another. And I feel like this has an opportunity to last for the rest of this life. And probably beyond. I feel like these souls or these soulmates, again, I kind of feel like they don't even know that this is coming about. But it is coming about. And I love the fact that I feel like both the emperor and the empress both feel like they are finding like success within their life. And then what a perfect time for then love to enter. It doesn't have to mean everything in my life is going right and then love enters. Sometimes I could be in a little bit of a mess and then love enters. But if that's the case, because you're soulmates, that means that you're here to help each other. I feel like everything is saying that this is a great love story, but this is a story of overcoming, rebuilding, and then finding true love. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Taurus, I loved your reading. I know, I say that all the time, but. 
I get so involved in the readings, like I just allow myself to feel the energy. So it's like your movie and I'm part of it. I'm like the actor playing your part. I truly loved it. And I feel proud of you for the things that you've overcome. And the things that you're doing now to really help strengthen your tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys. As always, I thank you. I thank you. I have so much gratitude just for you being here. Um, I have gratitude for all the ways you help the channel, sharing, comments, donations, just being part of the reading. Like, my gratitude is for you. So, I, I really hope this resonates with you because I feel like this is really quite a beautiful reading. Uh, but it, it feels like real life at the same time. Like, you know, life has issues. But these are things that we can overcome. And this is exactly what I see you doing. Overcoming, rebuilding, and creating one hell of a life for yourself. And I feel like, again, this is a love story that, you know, I almost feel like a movie could be made of it. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to let that be, guys. I love you. I thank you. Some of you, you may want to check out Scorpios. Um, I know I told you I was going to give you synchronicities. They also had soulmates. I think they had the lovers. Um, so there are a lot of similarities in the reading. But this is your reading. You know what I mean? I don't want you to think, uh, like, you need to watch the other to complete this one. This is your reading. Um but there is a reason why I'm doing opposites. Anyway, I'm going to let that be. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.